टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस प्रॉबिलिटी बेसिक प्रॉब्लम्स रिगार्डिंग कॉइन ओके सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस कॉइन बेस्ड प्रॉब्लम्स ओनली ओके सो ऑलरेडी यू नो ए कॉइन हैज ए हेड एंड ए टेल ए कॉइन हैज ए हेड एंड टेल ओके सपोज if you toss a coin only one coin if you toss one coin the sample space consists of either head or tail okay so how many elements are there in the sample space two elements are there okay if two coins are tossed simultaneously there is a chance that there both may be heads both are tails and the first one is head and the second one is tail and the first one is tail and the second one is head therefore four probabilities are there so all the probabilities i have written in a sample space therefore how many elements are there four elements are there so if two coins are tossed you are having four elements if one coin is tossed you have the two elements if two coins are tossed you have the four elements now i am going to toss three coins so if i toss the three coins all the heads one option all the tails one option and the first two are the heads and third is the tail so different options you come across with so how many elements are there total eight elements are there total eight elements are there so if one coin is tossed two elements if two coins are four if three coins are eight from this one you can conclude that if n coins are tossed if n coins are tossed how many elements that the sample space consists of means it consists of 2 power n elements 2 power n elements suppose if you consider four coins are tossed the sample space consists of 2 power 4 elements okay here three elements three coins tossed that's why two cube elements are there here two coins are tossed therefore two square elements are there in the sample space if one coin is tossed the sample is consists of 2 power 1 elements therefore n if n coins are tossed the sample space consists of 2 power n elements okay next we are going to discuss some problems so if one coin is tossed what is the probability of getting head what is the probability of getting head so we have the total elements in the sample space how many if one coin is tossed two therefore head how many choices are there only one one probability is there therefore 1 by 2 probability of t tail t stands for tail how many are there in the sample space two out of which only one tail is there therefore probability of tail is 1 by 2 similarly if two coins are tossed if two coins are tossed probability of getting one head so if two coins are tossed how many elements exist in the sample space four elements exist out of which one head what are the probabilities means now i am go back to the previous page so here when two coins are tossed this is the sample space you can see stuff here we require only one head one head means this is the one and this is the one these two choices are there to have only one head this is the one and this is the one okay therefore you come across with 2 by 4 out of four pairs two pairs are favorable to one head probability of no heads means all the tails all the tails all the tails means you come across with one pair that is therefore 1 by 4 so probability of two heads we require the both should be heads and so i will write the sample space for your convenience so bo- both heads one pair you will get tail tail both tails one pair head comma tail one pair and tail comma head one more pair okay both heads how many pairs are favorable one pair is favorable therefore 1 by 
probability of both should be tails that is also 1 by 4 so at least one head the last one is the at least one head it may be one head it may be two heads what is the meaning of at least one head means it may be one head it may be two heads so one head one pair here one pair two pairs two heads one pair so these three are favorable to this at least one head therefore three out of four pairs so four yes. pairs out of four pairs three pairs are favorable to at least one head therefore the answer is three by four similarly if three coins are tossed probability of getting three heads all the heads should be all the three should be heads then one out of if three coins are tossed how many elements there eight elements are there therefore one by eight so both two heads so let us go to the previous one two heads should be there here three heads are there here no heads here two heads are there one pair okay here two heads are there two pairs here three he two heads are there three uh, three pair here only one head here only one head here only one head so how many pairs are having three heads one two three therefore three are favorable out of eight pairs therefore probability of getting two heads is three by eight so probability of getting no heads probability of getting no heads means probability of getting no heads so this pair if you consider this pair this pair doesn't have the no heads therefore only one pair is favorable out of eight pairs therefore one by eight is the answer so this is about the coin based problems in probability okay thank you